I think it's fair to say that I'm pretty sparing when it comes to leak videos. I don't wanna to reiterate too much of what I've already said or what you probably already heard specifically about the 2021 iPad Pro. For example, we know it's gonna have a mini LED display. We know it's gonna be thicker. We know it's gonna be more powerful with an A14X processor. That's the nomenclature we can expect. However, I write, ah, oh, Sorry about that, that was the doorbell. It kind of scared me a little bit there. Anyway, let me think about what I was saying. Uh, the whole point of this video is that Mark Gurman, an Apple leaker with a great track record recently said, like in the past day, that the chips found inside of the iPad Pro 2021 models are gonna be similar in performance to the M1 chips found in MacBook Air and MacBook Pro and Mac Mini, which is super exciting. And also, I mean, like not totally out of the ballpark of what we were gonna expect. I mean, after all, Apple Silicon is all related. The M chips are related to the A chips. And of course, you know, since iPad Pro was similar in performance to i5 MacBook Pros and Airs, is it that unheard of? Not necessarily, although I had anticipated that Apple might wanna differentiate their Macs and iPads a bit with regard to performance. I thought they may want to nerf, you know, A14X a little bit compared to the M1, but apparently not. I mean, and like I said, it kind of makes sense. For example, the Mac Mini, which comes with the M1 chip, uh, sells for $699 and the iPad Pro goes for $799. Obviously, there are advantages that come with running Mac OS, like running full-fledged apps like Final Cut and Premiere. Of course, those are ported over with Rosetta, but that's a whole different story. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the pricing, just the whole idea concept isn't that crazy, but it's great for iPad Pro consumers or you know people who use it for their creative professional work or whatever. Like, for example, video editing, I'm sure you know, editing 4K is gonna get even better, maybe even 8K in the future. But that does beg the question though, you know, if Apple brings this level of performance to the iPad Pro, are we gonna see some professional apps, like actual professional apps being ported over? After all, with this Apple Silicon transition, a lot of apps are gonna be made to support, you know, Apple architecture, Apple ARM architecture. So that would mean that these apps could technically be ported over easily to iPad Pro. So will we see Final Cut Pro for iPad Pro? That would be a dream come true. I would actually use an iPad Pro more if that was the case, but we have to see also apps like Premiere. I know that Adobe is working to, you know, port over like Illustrator and Photoshop, although they're not like full versions, but still, you know, this is really interesting. If these iPads are gonna be as powerful as, you know, M1 Max, these are gonna be even better creative tools. This is also great news for people who wanna game with iPad Pro, although I think more iPad gamers buy the 8th gen or the Air 4, but I mean, still, you know, titles are gonna get even more advanced, and that's just the case with any iPad or any jump in terms of, you know, processor performance. But yeah, this is great for people who use iPad Pro for their creative work. Not necessarily for sketching and drawing, although that's one demographic, but people who, you know, are editing footage, doing 3D rendering, etc. And maybe this is the future of Apple you know, the Mac and the iPad. Maybe one day portable Macs and iPads are gonna merge into one product. You know, that's sort of Apple's name of the game anyway to unify and simplify. But yeah, that's what I wanted to share with this leak. I thought it was relevant. I hope this video was helpful. I'm really excited to see what Apple has to offer this March. I'd appreciate it if you'd leave a like, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, and of course, subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.